Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I discovered a new uh, designer, I guess, because it says designed by, um, of these types of dot coloring books. And it is by Laura, I'm going to say Wokal, W-O-K-A-L. And she has a number of different subject matters with these dot books. I picked up Dots and Insects, and each one of these books comes in a white background version and a black background version. So these are the first two books that I picked up. I was going to do my flip-through video, and then I seen this one. <laughs> Dots and Mandalas. And I kind of figured I was going to like the black background better than the white, so I only ordered the black background in this particular one. So let's take a look at what they look like. I really haven't looked at these much. <laughs> Just kind of had a little glance. So this is the Dots and Insects one. She has, like I said, a number of other ones. I think there is um, Dinosaurs. I think there is like some with traveling. There might be one like for Europe and some different countries and stuff. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But um, so again, this is the insects one. They are smaller. They're square like eight by eight, eight and a half by eight and a half maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I would say yeah, a little over eight by eight plain back cover, Amazon paper, we have our name plate page, and then we get into the first picture. It does indicate at the bottom what that particular insect is. Now, I probably will treat these kind of like the Sun Life drawing ones where it's just or a lot of the other dot ones where they're just one color coloring. I may just do these all in just one color of gel pen or because the circles are bigger the dots are bigger in these books maybe alcohol or water-based marker would work real good. And on the reverse when I first flipped through this I seen dots on the back I'm like oh my gosh they're double-sided images. Well, there goes alcohol markers, but no. <laughs> she just has that on the back side of every page. <laughs> so we have an ant fly. So by no means anything difficult whatsoever, right? Wouldn't take long to get one of these pictures done. Scarab. Wasp. Saddleback Caterpillar. <laughs> Firefly. Well, that one you could do with like pretty bright greens. Ew, spider. Looks like more than eight legs in here. <laughs> Bumblebee. Firebug. Is that different than a firefly? It looks different, but I've never heard of a firebug. Leaf insect. Bug stick. Dragonfly. Rosemary beetle. Earthworm. Weevil. Centipede. Ooh, I hate those things. <laughs> Black Widow. Yeah, I don't care for them either. <laughs> Cockchafer? Is that different than a cockroach? Hmm. Never heard of that. Scorpion? Tarantula. Okay, sorry, that does not look like a tarantula. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Cockroach. So yeah, that other one was different. Hmm. A tick. Oh, too many of them are on here too. Stag beetle. Grasshopper. Butterfly. Now that one, of course, could be bright and colorful. Beetle. 
Mosquito. Aphid. Don't like them either, right? Mm -mm. Stink bug. Now those have pretty colors in their back, right? <laughs> really pretty blues and greens. Caterpillar. That's caterpillar, huh? Hmm. Okay. Termite. Earwig. Oh, just started seeing those stupid things around here. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> Mantis. A bee. Sow bug. Another one I haven't heard of. Bed bug. Ooh, a lot of bad bugs in here. Flea. Queen ant. That's definitely a queen ant. <laughs> Ground beetle. Cicada. Boy, we've really heard of that about them this year, haven't we? House centipede. Ladybug. Well, we know what colors could go in that one. A moth. A louse. Lacewing. A lot of pictures in here. Locust. Silverfish. Ugh, don't like them either. All right. And then we do have two blank sheets at the back of the book. So let's just take, I'm not going to do a total flip through of the black background version, but we'll just kind of see what the black background version looks like. So of course, starts out the same, but as the name implies, it's on a black background. I much prefer the black background. You know, it's just inverted from this, but this you do have to stay within, you know, the lines. Um, not that that would be too hard in here, but the lines are a little bit thinner. Um, alcohol marker would have an easier time of spreading across the lines, whereas the black background, yeah, they're just so easy to color in. So, yeah, just... And that's why I, again, I just got the black background for the mandala book. But as you can see, that is what the black background version would look like. So let's take a look at the mandala book. So over 20,000 dots inside, many hours of relaxation, highest level of creative, modern and minimalistic, minimalist style okay and that's what it states on here too so front cover isn't that pretty back cover some samples from inside just talk about some of the other ones oh yeah there's a cupcakes one the dinosaurs and horoscope so and there are others i think there are more than that too so i have not looked at this at all i'm Going to be interested to see too how detailed or how simple you know these are. Nameplate page when we get into the first one. Reverse rainbow. Hmm. Could give you kind of an inkling of how to color it, maybe. Spirit of the ancestors. So she gives a name to each mandala. Romantic sunset. Kind of maybe gives you an idea of a color palette for that particular mandala. Sapphire Eye. I can picture blues and greens, right? Crazy Dance. Ooh, I could see some bright neons in that one. <laughs> Flowery Meadow. How'd you come up with all these names? Dark Mind. Hmm. Fancy show. Oh, another one. Bright, pretty colors, right? Balloon fight. Holiday memories. Well, of course, we got to go with some reds and greens and purples and, you know, make it like Christmas lights or something. That's a neat model, though. I like that one. A little bit easier to follow, too. Some of the others, you know, it's a little bit harder to 
make sure you're coloring the same. Oh, I like that one too. Last song. Definitely going to have to try one of these. Dream Collection. Magic Planet. Lightning Storm. Love Lightning Storms. So, of course, we'd have to have a lot of yellow in there. <laughs> Dangerous Road. Again, how did she come up with these names? <laughs> Window of Hope. I like that, too. Vintage Style. Depth of the Ocean. Again, you picture some blues and greens. And <laughs> Power of Imagination. So that could be any color. Morning Joy. And again, you could just color this whole thing, you know, treat it as a one color coloring book. Moon Love. Aww. <laughs> Colors of Life. Dreamland. Now, I don't know if the white background version would be easier to follow than this black. I'm not sure, but I'm loving this black background. Voice of Fire. Okay, definitely some yellow, oranges, and reds, right? <laughs> definitely. State of Hypnosis. Like snowflakes coming at you when you're driving, right? Desert sands. Secret garden. Jeez. Hmm. Where have we heard that name before? <laughs> Street noise. Oh, I like that mind a little. Sweet madness. They're really different, aren't they? Song of the Gods. Strength of Friendship. Precious Stones. King's Palace. New World. Colorful mask. Just relax. That's what coloring's all about, right? Wild animal. Oh, I like that mandala too. Could picture some browns or something in there. Yellows, maybe thinking of like a tiger or something. Unlimited energy. Like our children, yes. <laughs> Beautiful wish. Circus performance. Eternal youth. Something we all want. <laughs> Spicy flavors. Pure gratitude. Old tree. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Female sensitivity. Hmm. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. Quiet place. Open mind, bold look, and that is it. Then again, you have a couple of blank sheets at the back to test your coloring mediums. All right, so there you have it. I am loving this book. I like the insects too, but definitely, of course, love, love, love this one. Oh, yes. 
Um, I'm going to look on Amazon, see which books I can all find, and I will link all of them down below, both the white background and the black background, if you are interested in any of these. I thought she had more than just these five out. Um, the insects, the mandalas, dinosaurs, cupcakes, and horoscope. I thought there was something with traveling, but I'll take a look, and I will, like I said, link everything down below in the description. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, um, as I did, about finding this new illustrator with uh, Dots coloring books. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.